Hello guys, it's me, Noella, and today we're going to be talking about Every Farm. It's actually a new game I found on Google Play, and it's a pretty game. It's Xenity based, and yun, super cute, super exciting, super Farmville vibes, and sobrang nakaka-distress siya. I mean, sa panahon ngayon, sobrang stressful na kahit mag-ML ka, maraming toxic, or kung anong game ang laruin mo, super siya nakaka-distress for me yet, but finding out this game actually helps me a lot, like super nakakawala siya ng stress, parang kalang, parang bumalik sa 90s na, not 90s, mga to early 2000 na usap-usap yung mga farming games sa Facebook, like Farmville, you know, yung mga ganyan, and sobrang nakakawala siya ng stress eh, for some reason, and also, on top of that, it's not just a farming game, it's actually a play dirt game na kikita ka talaga, so it's like Axie Infinity, but still baby, kaya medyo hindi pa ganun kalaki yung kinahan. But, I mean, that's the point. This game is really cute. So, yeah, if you're looking for a chillax game, talagang, I think this one's for you. So, anyway, today we're gonna talk about tips and tricks on how to level up fast. Kasi, you need to reach level 25 for you to exchange high points, this one, into the Wemix Cryptocurrency. Let's start. So, we're gonna make a new account just for the sake of today's video. <laughs> I cold inside, tore my mind, stole my peace. I prayed for ease, but all right. On set, when you log into the game, you will see this, and you will have a small tutorial or a short tutorial, rather, um, it will teach you how to navigate the game. So you just click the tile, go for the crop, and just, yeah, plant it like that. So also it will show you this um, interface right here, which is called a fat, which lets you see how many tiles you have and um, the space you have for your uh, buildings, okay? Also, yeah, after planting your cabbage, you need to water it, so it will grow, <laughs> and yeah, it's harvest time, you see, just one click, easy harvest, right? And also go to your uh, storage, and here you can actually sell your products, if you want to. Yeah, so this is just a short uh, tutorial on navigation, but I believe that um, we don't really need this, because it's like basic common sense. <laughs> If you ask me, by the way, you see that uh, they use the seed to finish uh, s this milk quickly. Don't ever do that as much as possible. I would suggest that you save all the seeds that you have. Don't use it um, if it's not important for, you know, for speed ups. Never, ever use your seeds for speed ups. So, yeah. Anyway, this is just showing you, like... For every um, meal, this is what you call a meal, a bread meal. So for every meal uh, that you have, it requires certain crops. So for the bread, it requires wheat. And for this pen, which is the cow pen, it requires cabbage. So you need to stock up on those uh, crops if you're planning to use this bread meal or the cow pen, you know. It all depends on what meal or pen you're using, kung ano yung itatin mo sa yung farm. So as you can see, once you produce the bread, you can actually sell it, and you will earn gold. So, diba? And with that gold, you can actually build more structures and more um, mills and pens. So yeah, that's how it works. So here, it shows you that you can build structures using your gold. And once you build your structure, it will give you echo points. So guys, keep in mind that while building uh, different uh, mills and pens for you to earn gold, for you to earn uh, different crops, you need ecosystem to build them. And with a balanced ecosystem, you can actually build and, you know, grow your farm. So you just need to make sure that you have enough echo points to support your mills and pens buildings. And how to secure that? You need to build structures. But keep in mind that you have limited space in this game. So you have to make sure that 
each and every space is maximized. So each tile na meron kayo, you should put a little bit or tiny pieces of structures para ma-maximize yung lahat nang sige you will earn enough echo points to support naman yung mga mills and pens na kakailangan ninyo in the future. Like for quests and stuff, you know. But you can always hide them. I'm gonna teach you later how to hide them. So it will give back the echo points and you can use it for future needs, diba? Anyway, let's continue with this tutorial. Just update your house like that. So, yun. Oh, by the way, look at this. This is one uh, tip that I can give you. Like, if you need to plant, like, cabbage, just choose the cabbage here. Um, and then just tap once and drag. Okay, just tap once and drag your uh, finger all over the crops. It will automatically plant the cabbages. As well as, you can use it to water the crops, okay? So, just tap it and then drag. Tap and drag. So, yeah. Oh, as well as the trees. You can do that for the trees as well. Yes. <laughs> okay, so nice. And remember, like, we need cabbage for the cow pen and wheat. So, cabbages, sobrang dali nito. You can actually have it in like 30 seconds. So, yeah, easy harvest. Level 2 na, guys. So, super dali. And, yeah, don't forget to check your meals. Kasi dito nila pinapadila yung mga... Um, gifts, you know. Oh, if you're new in this game, don't forget to claim your 50,000 coins. Just go to toolbox, option, enter coupon, and type in hello every farm. That's hello every farm. And then, yeah. This is, oh. Like, apparently I'm too young for that. But anyway, you like, try it and you will get it. Maybe when you're level 10 or something. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know if they changed that, but it's supposed to be like uh, 50,000 gold coins for you. So anyway, um, you can actually hide these buildings. Actually, sabi ko kanina, once you're not using the building anymore, you outgrew it, you don't need the specific uh, produce that it's giving you, you can hide it to make way for other buildings. So just um, long tap or long press the building and then you will see this icon. This is the hide icon this will put the mill directly into your storage like that just like that okay pero paano kung ano paano kung uh the mill or the pen is actually working on with the produce let's try to long press see it's grayed out so you can never store a mill or a pen or any um producing uh buildings if they're working on with their produce so you can only store them you need to wait until they're done before you can store them it's like this one it's done so once you see those uh, ellipsis dots you can actually long press and then store them so that's how it works so that's how you make space for other mills and pens so more tips and tricks coming your way <music>